In the Bronx, New York, community members and civil rights activists joined the family of Romarley Graham to hold a vigil last night and demand justice for his killing. The unarmed African American teenager was shot by police in his own home earlier this year. This latest call for justice comes on the heels of new data that shows 120 African Americans have been killed so far this year by police, security guards, or self appointed vigilantes nationwide. That amounts to one killing every 36 hours. FSRN's Jessel Noor reports. For the 18th consecutive week, Friends, family, and supporters of Romarley Graham marched and held a vigil demanding justice for the slain African American teenager. On February 1st, police officers broke into Graham's home without a warrant and shot and killed him in his bathroom. Officers said they thought Graham had a gun. No weapon was found. Romarley Graham is a victim of an aggressive police tactic. Jeffrey Emden is an attorney for the Graham family. The family is now engaged in a grassroots campaign, campaign to raise awareness of rights, of, of what the police tactics are, and what could be done to stop them. And this、uh, is the 18th of 18 vigils that we've conducted that comm- commemorate 18 years of Romali being on this planet. Justice for Romali! Yeah, Richard h a y e Justice for Romali! Yeah, Richard h a y e The march began at the Graham residence, then stopped at the local 47th precinct, where Richard Haste, the officer charged with manslaughter for killing Graham, was stationed. Haste pleaded not guilty, and the case goes to trial in September. 24 year old community activist Gilbert Rojas says the weekly marches have been critical in raising awareness about Graham's killing. Like, it's good that we keep the pressure up because we keep on reminding people that this issue hasn't gone away. Like, we live at a day and age with the 24 hour news cycle and all that, that people are used to like stories like, you know, coming in and then disappearing. So you have to keep on reminding like,、uh, the public at large and the media that this is still here, the family is still grieving, and the unarmed black and Latino men are still getting shot and harassed and frisked and you name it. Graham's family and supporters have been critical of how the police have handled the case. Graham's grandmother was detained for seven hours after his killing, and despite the indictment of haste, Supporters have maintained their calls for other officers in his unit to also be criminally charged over their involvement. No justice! No peace! No racist! No peace! I said no justice! No peace! The march ended at the Crawford Memorial Methodist Church, where Graham's mother, Constance Malcolm, addressed the hundreds in attendance and vowed to hold the police accountable for her son's death. They have three things on their car courtesy, respect, Professionalism. Those are three things they have in their car. And they have to demonstrate none of that. None of those three things. And they expect us, as people, as citizens of this country, to respect them. Respect goes both ways. You want me to respect you? You have to respect me. Community members, including New York City public school teacher and activist Brian Jones, say the family's resilience has been an inspiration. And that's what, made, what has made this case so significant that the family took their grief and their pain, and instead of just、um, letting it consume them, they decided to come out swinging and fighting for justice. And there's something about the way that they have had the courage and the strength to stand up to the police. Also in attendance were the families of Kenneth Chamberlain Sr. and Chantel Davis, two other unarmed African Americans also killed by New York police this year. So that now they are a source of strength, a source of organizing, a source of knowledge、um, and experience for other families who find themselves in the same situations. The Chamberlain, Davis, and Graham cases are just three of a much broader pattern of killings of African Americans. In the first six months of 2012, At least 120 African Americans have been killed by police, security guards, or self appointed law enforcers. The majority of them were under the age of 31, and about 46% were unarmed. Activist and scholar Rosa Clemente is with the Malcolm X grassroots movement, which released a report that calls these deaths extrajudicial killings. Particularly young people of color are not safe in their communities, and not safe because of other social. 
uh, environmental economic factors, but are literally not safe from the people that are paid to, quote, have courtesy, professionally, professionalism, respect, or are there to serve and protect. And that in most of these cases, a cop is not indicted. If they are indicted, they usually walk free. The Malcolm X grassroots movement calls the killing of black people systemic and a human rights crisis that needs to be immediately addressed. The group is calling for a national plan of action for racial justice to eliminate white supremacy and institutional racism and promote the self-determination of marginalized communities. Clemente and supporters of the Graham family say it will take sustained grassroots organizing to raise awareness of police killings of people of color and to hold police accountable when they do. Jessel Noor, FSRN, New York.